Hi, I'm Greg Knoll. And I'm Mike Hildebrand. So far in this series, we've learned how to implement site management procedures, how to identify the problem, and how to evaluate hazards and risks. Now we're going to examine the process of selecting protective clothing and equipment, the types of protective clothing, and the advantages and disadvantages of each type. We'll look at the ways that chemical protective clothing can be compromised, safety and emergency procedures for personnel wearing chemical protective clothing, and the types of respiratory protection and their use at hazmat incidents. This is the fourth program in the H-STEP process, a series about managing hazardous materials incidents, and it's called Protective Clothing and Equipment. At every hazmat incident, emergency responders may confront a wide range of potentially hostile environments. Protective clothing is a critical element in limiting personnel exposures. But before you can select the right clothing and equipment for the job, you must evaluate the hazards and risk. And you need to have personnel who are trained in the use and limitations of their clothing and equipment. 